Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybruises. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to manage the access right and user types in Odoo 17 inventory module. So, Odoo defines a user as someone who has the access to the database to perform a daily task. You can add as many as users you need and in order to restrict the type of information each user can access. Rules can be applied, users and access right can be added and changed at any point. Now, let's get into the uh, users to manage with the user. Here, Odo provides three types of users that are intern users, portal users, and public users. If you want to manage the users, you can directly manage it from the home screen of Odo database, or you can also just go to the general settings of uh, Odo and you can just change the user types. And if you want to see the user types, you also need to ensure that you have set the proper uh, developer mode on or uh, then only you can just manage with the user types so here we can see the user type is set to internal users so in case of internal users we can just consider two types of internal users that is administrator and simply an employee so in case of the internal user uh, the users um, in Odo inventory are users have the access to the backend system and can perform the task related to managing the stock they typically work within the company and require the functionality to handle the inventory operations. Now let's move on to the inventory module and let's see the operations that can be performed by the internal users um, as an administrator. So here we can just consider the Michelle admin as the administrator. And uh, this user can have uh, levels of access depending on their assigned groups and permissions within the system. And these uh, permissions are dictated what they can see and they can do in the inventory module. And you can see that this uh, user as the administrator can manage with the operations such as the transfers, adjustments in the inventory, scrap, land cost and replenishment. The user can also manage with the product, pro product variants, load numbers and packages and all. So as you just move on to each of the sections of features here, we can see that the manager can either create or archive these features or can just make any manipulations in the data. The uh, administrator can also view the reporting sessions such as the stock analysis, location analysis or the move histories uh, and uh, the valuations or performance or agents of the inventory. Now if the manager can also manage with the warehouse management or the configuration settings. So under this, uh, the manager can just manage with the batch transfers, picking policies, uh, warnings, qualities and reception reports or can also manage with all the things that are happening in the configuration settings. Now let's consider the other user um, as the intern user which is simply an employee. So let's move on to the users and here uh, we can just consider Mark Demo as simply a user. So here you can see that we have just set the user type as intern user and under the inventory you can see that we have just given the access right as user. So if you want to set the internal user as an administrator here, you can just set it as administrator. So for the time being, we know Mark Demo is simply a user or the um, employee in the company. Now let's log in as the user Mark Demo. So for that, you can just log out from Michelle Admin and log in as Mark Demo. Now, as you just move on to the inventory module, in the inventory module, you can find that the access right will be limited for this user and uh, uh, like you can see that the uh, user can just view um, or find the overview of the inventory and he can just manage with the transfers such as receipts, uh, delivery orders, internal transfers and batch transfers. But he cannot manage the replenishment of a product or landed cost uh, of a product and all. And he can also just manage with the creation of new products, load numbers, variants and serial numbers as well as packages but he cannot make any changes in the configuration settings or just manage with the creation of warehouses or routes in the uh, inventory module. Now let's move on to the uh, administrator uh, database and uh, let's manage with the other user. So here you can also um, find different users such as the portal user and here let's consider the portal user as Joel Wills. So portal user is... Um, the concept of, um, yeah, the user that are the external users, typically a customer or client who is granted with a limited access to the specific information within the Odoo database. 
now let's um uh, see that uh, we have just set the user type as a portal user and in case of the portal user we cannot just grant the access right and all uh, only we can just set the access right for the internal users now let's log out from the user over here and let's log in as a portal user and here you can see that uh, we can just provide a segue way for the customers to view the relevant information related to their interaction with the business and a common example for including like viewing of the invoices, cards, project details, tickets and even making online purchases in case of e-commerce. So here you can just view the quotation of the user and uh, that can be viewed over here. So if we want to, uh, if he want to just make a uh, sign and pay, he can just confirm his signature and make payment for uh, the product that he want uh, and confirm his sale order. So that has done and he can just pay enough uh, from here. So currently there is no suitable payment available uh, over here, uh, but he has just confirmed his uh, order. Now let's log out from the Joel Wills and log in. Uh, as the administrator and let's discuss about the other user that is the uh, public user so in case of public user in the inventory uh, in uh, Odo the concept of public user within the inventory module is specially doesn't exist because the Odo's inventory functionality is designated uh, to be accessed by the authorized users with the designated per permission so public user by definition are the anonymous users without a login or any specific permission within the system. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the user type and access right in Odoo 17 inventory module. So if you want Odoo customization or Odoo tutorials, feel free to contact Cybrosis as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.